All right, here at No Reserve, we have our all original uh, 1996 F-250. It's a super hard to find uh, crew cab short bed, uh, XLT all power options. Uh, you never had any paint work done. This is all original. Uh, it's called Light Saddle Metallic with the Oxford White two-tone in the middle. Uh, nice tan, tan interior. I uh, did, did these trucks for only two years, so they're really hard to find, and every year they just get tougher and tougher to find. Um, but we'll go ahead and give this thing, do a little walk around so you can see it. Um, you know, it's 22 years old now, so it does have a little bit um, of aging, like in the lenses and some of the, the, the plastics and rubbers are a little bit faded, but this is still a super clean truck. It's got brand new wheels and tires on it. We just put on, um, if you're a real original fanatic, we can swap out the wheels and put the originals back on. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and walk around this thing. We'll start off with the passenger fender. It's got a little bit of a, Contact is something at some point. Um, doesn't look horrible, but it's still great to see it's still well, got original paint. Um, but you can see, we'll take you around the front here. This was talking about. There's a little bit of condensation in here, a little delaminating in the uh, chrome, and it'll just stay like this forever. A little condensation there. This caused from people not getting the lights on all the way in the back. They twist in, and they are difficult to get to, which is why some people just finally get them in. They call it a day, but uh, you can dry these out. Um, or you can get replacements for really cheap on these trucks. I mean, you can get all the lights, rubbers, um, mirrors, everything brand new for, you know, really cheap through LMC truck or right on eBay. Um, you know, it is original truck, so you're going to find little stone chips here, but um, trade-off for original, no questions, paint and body is nice. I mean, it's a zero, 100%, no rust in this thing. Chrome looks good. You know, the rubber's pulled out the corner there. It's a little bit faded, you know, had a little... Had contact in the rubbers or something over the years, a little faded, you know, um, pulled out of there and it's got a little scuff on the side. A little condensation there, this headlight's a little faded. Um, you can get modern style headlights too that are a lot brighter, they're crystal clear. I mean, you can get black ones, you can do whatever you want with these. Um, the factory gray coves you'll see on most of these trucks is it's about as good as spray paint as what they did originally, so they fade out really fast. A couple little dings in the hood there, maybe somebody put something on the hood. Um, you know, you will have some stone chips and stuff like that, but overall the front of the hood is just in phenomenal condition. I mean, there's not really any stone chips right here, so I don't know if I had some type of protection. Um, a little wear in the paint right there, but it's not through the paint. Um, so probably had a bug guard on it at one point. Um, but it does have like, maybe somebody, I don't know, kind of creased the fender a little bit there and they uh, did some work to massage it out, try to look at it as best as they can. Paints little scratch up there so if you're a real perfectionist um, you could have a body shop tape it here and just do this area and blend it up into the hood um, but you know a nice original one piece pinstriping top and bottom all the way around this truck that's always how you know original paint truck um, you see this fat uh, pinstripe well it's a one piece pinstripe and Ford stopped making it as soon as they stopped building these trucks so basically if you ever had body work or paint work done the only way to replicate this is to lay down stack pinstriping basically and you'd be able to feel an edge all the way in on that so you'd have like a big gold one and then you would have white on top of it but this is written that's always a do tell sign plus I've been all the way around it in the jams no tape marks anything like that you know you will get your kind of typical stone chips these little guys but it's gold truck so it's really hard to see this stuff I mean, we'll see some water bubbles. It was raining earlier today, but I got it all dried off and clean. But every once in a while, a uh, drip will come out from the mirrors or door jam or something. But you can see all the rubbers are still in nice shape. The chrome's not completely delaminated, still nice. Emblem looks really good. A um, little scuff around here from probably the same issue. You know, no paint lifting, no clear coat issues. All the jams are in really nice condition. All the bolts, never been must messed with. It's got a Lund visor. Um, it's nice to see these things are still intact. Those are missing a lot of the times. Felts look good, the outside felts, but they are getting a little bit aged. And again, you can get new felts inside and outside for both doors, about 50 bucks. If you want to do all four, it's going to cost you about 100 bucks. But uh, you can usually get 89.95 to the door for all four. Um, you know, you got little stone chips, and you're going to have some entry chips and stuff like that. Um, little chips here. You know, and I won't. You know, I'm going to try to go and find all these little wear in the paint there. Um, a little wear in the pinstriping here. Maybe somebody was always leaning in to put something in. Maybe they had a toolbox here at one point. Um, a little wear on the pinstriping. Again, just some kind of stone chips in the bottom here. But you can see the wheel wells. You know, they're not spotless or nothing, but it's cool to see the original paint right there. It hasn't been spray painted, hasn't been um, 
done anything. The exhaust has been replaced at some point. It doesn't have the two come out like they should. So, a little crease in right here, a little scratch. The bedsides are really nice though. Um, not No loading scratches or chips or damage that you often see. So this truck may have had a canopy on at one point because most of the canopy trucks, as much as I don't like canopies, usually have the nicest bedsides because all the loading is done in the back. A little chip right there. It's just got a standard drop-in plastic bed liner. And again, original 4x4 off-road decal. You can't get these anymore. Rear lens has got a little bit of fading at the top, a little bit of aging, some little chips at the, a uh, little bit of scratches at the top bed corners and this stuff. Top of the tailgate's got some chips. No dance or dings, but uh, it's pretty calm and stuff. Little chips there. A little chip behind the bumper and the top rubber pads got some wear and tear. This should be a silver. Someone spray painted it black at some point. A um, little chip there, but really just, I mean, a really nice clean example truck. A little chip there, a little surface scratch, surface scratch, little, little tiny chips. And this one's a little bit of the biggest chip you're gonna find besides that passenger fender. Little scratch, this is kind of like what I was saying about loading scratches, like somebody put something on here and kind of leaned up against it and then rotated it in or something, but um, got some chips from the front tires throwing up rocks. I mean, you always find that on the front of the bedside too, but this one doesn't got too much. A little wear in the paint, a little entry wear surface scratches again same there's those chips I was talking about you get from the tires throwing them up hits those hits those flat sides all along the body this is the flat side you know along the rear and uh, and then any new panel it's gonna get a little chipping I didn't get over here but there's a little chip there and a little kind of like a little ding and then uh, you're kind of standard chipping take it the drivers side both rubbers are in really nice shape on both doors of the wing windows. There's a chip in the A pillar here. Little chip in the uh, glass there. Definitely fixable. You can see no hood hinge issue. Sometimes people hyper extend these hood hinges and, and then they'll slam them down and it just does permanent damage. Very soft, small ding right here. So a paintless dent guy could iron that bad boy out. A couple little chips here. And then, you know, a couple of chips. A little bug. Got rid of him. A little chip there. And then, uh, standard chipping but again this is my favorite he is uh the crew cab short bed truck and this i got this exact truck but in the gray so you know full power options door panels are nice non-smoker no pets no odors a little wear in the leather here really nice dash you got a little bit of wear on the leather steering wheel no cracks in the dash no bezels uh, no crack in the vinyl it's a non-smoker the ashtray is just perfectly clean but one of the if you're not one of these uh, fanatics like I am of these trucks one of the hardest things to find on these still with the trucks is the original floor mats these things just disappear in the Broncos in these trucks and it's understandably so after 20 some years um, they kind of disappear but it has the original floor mats front and rear and the carpets are in nice shape underneath I mean they've really protected this truck well rear bench you got seatbelt for six people in here little mark in the passenger door panel but again the paint you know no nothing's been worn away no rust no surface rust no B pillar cracks no door hinge issues got your original decal really just super clean I mean the original floor mat you can see it's nice and clean under there got the cup holders you got your cargo deal this is still intact a lot of this times these are just missing um, no headliner sag you know, visors stay where they should. Still got both its dome light covers. It's just little things like that oftentimes are just missing. Um, little wear on the driver's side edge. This is nice. But no holes, no round cigarette spots. Just, uh, just a really nice clean example. I'll take you around the front of the hood. Um, well, I'll take you to finish up the interior and then I'll take you underneath the hood and fire it up for you. All windows work, go up and down. Still has the original keyless enter key fob. You can see hanging there. It's got two sets of keys. No cracks here. It's just wonderful to see. And you can see there's no, uh, sometimes I'll get stress cracks across here. A little bit of wear you can see in the corner over there from uh, just age. You know, people put their cell phones or um, iPods and stuff will slide up there. It's got its original owner manual still in the uh, glove box. Passenger seat. Um, it's got a little material pull back here. 
And you'll see this pretty common. You won't see it over here, but you'll see it on this because this is a, a totally another piece that was added on and it's like a two layer deal. And it'll just kind of come undone sometimes if you get the wrong wrong abrasive against it. And it's really nice carpets underneath. It's just a uh, little matted down from um, the original floor mat. Nice door panel again, pretty much nowhere or marks on the passenger door panel. Super clean paint. Which is also cool, it's got this, uh, if you look at these trucks, it's kind of hard to find, is the black XLT trim. And it looks really nice with the tan interior. Um, I actually pulled this black trim out of another truck um, and uh, put it in my truck because I like the way it looks so much with the, you know, the black and the gray. The silver looks a little bit better, like in the uh, the blue and the reds, but uh, with the tan and black and tan and gray, I think the black trim looks the best. You know, the seat folds up. It's got let uh, carpet behind there, really clean. You see, you got your pocket deals aren't all wore out. It's really clean underneath. I mean, nowhere on the store panel. Just nice tan, pure color. Go ahead and hop in here and uh, so it's just got a little over uh, 166,000 original miles. You know, I'll turn on the lights, click on the four ways. Um, so yeah, it's got 167,338, sorry about that. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and throw some fuel in it and go do a driving video once she gets fully warmed up. You can see all the blinkers are working. Make sure all the light bulbs work. Running nice and smooth. No belt squeal, the motor mount shaking, no exhaust leaks. You know, if you open up a door, cargo light comes on. You can also manually turn the cargo light on. Blinkers working good. License plate lights working. And you can see it just burning nice and clean. So this can be going at no reserve. Uh, really hard to find. Uh, factory crew cab, short bed, XLT with the 460 automatic. Uh, clean Washington title and 100% original paint with zero rust. And good luck.